What's up, organization? This is James Shu, and we're here for the premiere screening of Carrie, the remake of the horror classic by Stephen King. But we are here for Ghana Life Social, not movies. And I wanted to make sure I answered questions that just came into my Gmail uh, before the premiere started, before Julianne Moore gets here, uh, and all that good stuff. So uh, let's answer those questions. So today's questions comes from uh, Portland, Oregon from a wonderful girl. Her name is Moss, Miss Moss, uh, M-O-S, Man of Steel. Anyway, um, Miss Sophia Kinnear. And she writes from Portland, Oregon. She says, James, during a confirmation call of them coming to a coffee break, she says, well, I just want some more information. I start to say, this is why I'm calling you so you can check it out again. Then she proceeds to tell me she has other plans with friends that came up. My question is, right away, is when someone says they are interested in making an extra 500 bucks a month, or will come to a coffee break, I edify Michael or Deirdre, then something has come up. How do I make it easier to convey the importance of a coffee break? We say we really don't need you, but at the same time we do. Build rapport, use form, grow in friendship, what am I doing wrong? Well, number one, <laughs> I would say, we say we don't really need you, but at the same time, we do. You know, Sophia really loves me, so she's not gonna get offended. However, Sophia, if you're gonna write to me an email that says, we don't really need you, but at the same time, we do, you probably feel that way, and that's the problem. You don't need anybody, right? And you don't need anybody to come. And I know it's easier said than done. I know it's easier to say that uh, sticks and stones may break my bones, but worlds will never hurt me. But at the end of the day, words really do hurt, and people can't really say mean things and racist things. And I could say something that could offend anybody, and that is the truth that words do hurt, right? And it's easy to say, oh, that doesn't hurt my feelings. Or if someone says, oh, you're ugly, and it's easy to say, oh, I don't care about what someone else says. If they think I'm ugly, I'm ugly, and it doesn't hurt my feelings. It's easier to say that than that. I know it's easier to say that you don't need anybody at the beginning. Uh, but when at the end of the day you're like, but I really do. And I, I understand that. But the truth is you don't. Because it's like long term wise if you know that you're going to stick this out and you're going to go all the way to the top, uh, to the position that you want to get the residual income that you want. The truth is you really don't care who comes. Um, and you'd be surprised. It's like a guy with confidence. If a guy that had confidence, Sophia, came up to you. Would he have to say, I'm confident, Sophia, or could he do things in his mannerisms with his chest maybe being built up a little bit more, just the way he's talking to you? Are there things and attributes that would show you someone is confident versus someone that came up to you that wasn't confident? Probably there's things that people could do without having to say I'm confident that you could look at someone and say that person's confident. Well, the same thing. When you're inviting someone, right? It's, it's what you're saying, it's how you're saying it. It's like, what are you saying to someone? And I know you've heard me say this uh, example before, but if I stepped on your toe and I was like, I'm sorry, and I said it like that violently, you're like, okay, that didn't, you're not really sorry, and then you probably give me a slap, right? Because it's not what we're saying, it's how we're saying it. It's not what we're saying, it's how we're saying it. Sophia, I love you, right? Not really viable, right, Sophia? I love you, right? More believable, right? Because it's wh how we're saying whatever we're talking about. So. To piggyback back onto your question um, that you're asking me, well, when you are talking to someone, right, are you on the phone and you're, you're listing off some of the things, you're forming them, you're building rapport and all that good stuff, but is the main meat of it over there and is the importance of it in that, right? Best example, and I know you've heard me say this, but if someone were to invite uh, someone to meet uh, Mark Zuckerberg, right, owner of Facebook, billionaire, one of the youngest billionaires in the history of planet Earth, at one point he was the youngest one. If you were to set up that appointment with someone, would someone flake on that and say, oh, I have to meet with other friends? Most people would say, probably not. Why is that? Because there's so much importance behind this meeting that someone wouldn't have the balls to cancel that meeting. So let's retract and retort back on what we're saying. What are you saying to somebody? What are you saying to somebody? How well are you praising them? Or I, I heard you're using the word edify. How well are you edifying them or praising them that makes them feel a certain way about who they're about to meet, right? What, what are you saying in that mix, right? There's, so there's those things that we're saying. What are we saying in that mix that makes them want to flake or they feel it's even acceptable to flake, right? If I were to invite you to meet Bill Gates, Michael Jordan, Kim Kardashian, Kanye West, uh, Jay-Z, uh, Puff Daddy, uh, it doesn't even matter. Henry Cavill, right? 
Julianne Moore, the star of Carrie. Who, if I were to introduce, introduce you to one of these people, do you think that you would ever be like, you know, I'll kind of think about it? No, right? Because I, it's such a big deal. Or if I was like, hey, Sophie, I want you to meet my boss, right? I'm going to introduce you to my boss, and this is a pretty big deal. And it wasn't from money. I was just going to introduce you. Would you flake on that? Probably not, right? Because you know there, it's that there's that much importance behind meeting this person, right? So are you saying to the point how big of a deal it is to meet these people, to meet Ms. Deirdre, to meet Mr. Hoffman? Is it that big of a deal, yes or no? And only you know that because only you can actually hear how you're inviting and talking to these people. But you really gotta ask yourself, what are you saying to these people, right? And are you giving them the ability to come out of this meeting? Because if you're saying that people are rescheduling or people say, oh, I have plans with my other friends, you kind of also then have to have your backbone and be like, whoa, whoa, you told me that you were available. And I, only reason I even set this up was because you told me you were interested in making some extra money. And my boss is actually taking the time out of their schedule. To, they're expecting to see you there. So now it's not okay. And then I don't know if this is for sure, but are you letting them push you around? Are you letting them bully you? Or are you having a backbone? Or are you kind of like, okay, yeah, you can come tomorrow because at the end of the day, in your, the back of your head, you're thinking, well, maybe you, it is okay if you come tomorrow. When it's not okay, it really isn't okay. So you really have to decide It's how, what you're saying to people. It's having that backbone telling them, no, you told me this was it, da, da, da. And you have to be aggressive, right? And could you, offend some people and could some people actually say I'm not even gonna be your friend anymore because of that maybe have I seen it before yeah has it happened to me yeah but it kind of also gives you the type of person that they are too because we only flake on people we feel we can flake on right let me say that again we only flake on people that we feel we can flake on right because there's certain people in everyone's life where if that person called that person and said hey meet me up that person would always be there because that person that invited them is that important to them so again we only flake on people that we feel we can flake on so are you the type of person that people feel that they can flake on and if it is there's nothing wrong with that because that's where we raise our lid that we talked about and getting to the point where it's not okay and we get aggressive, we get a backbone and we talk to them. If this didn't answer your question, Sophia, please email me, gonalifesocial at gmail.com. If this is the first time you're seeing any of our episodes and you have a question for me about Gone Life, feel free to um, email me, gonalifesocial at gmail.com and write, hey James, and troll away and let me know what you think. If you liked the episode, thumbs up, subscribe. You can join the organization so you can see all the cool questions that come in and hopefully I can give some good insights on the basic building blocks of people and communications and until that next episode we'll talk to everybody soon